Hi everyone and welcome to another money making guide. Um, just decided to go ahead and make this one real quick. Um, I am working in a coffee shop again like usual so I apologize for the background noise. Um, as you can see I've got the map open here and the reason why is I'm going to tell you exactly where to go. So what you can do is start right here where uh, you have the mini game thing. Um, you can get there by using the dual ring and then uh, going to the dual arena. And then you just walk up here and then go to this right here, this dungeon link the Mortania Underground. You can also use transportation method right here, which is the uh, fairy ring, if you have fairy rings unlocked. And uh, that is code VIP to go to use that fairy ring. And then once you're here, you go simply in here. And now you probably figured out what the method is. It's the polypore dungeon. So in the polypore dungeon, once you get in there, you simply just go down all the ladders until you get to the very bottom where you find ganodermic beasts. Ganodermic beasts, uh, I'm going to show you, are right here. Ganodermic beasts are a 95 slayer requirement, and you have to use mage to kill them. So don't come down here with anything except for mage. As you can see, the people in the background is quite busy down here because of uh, how amazing this method is right now. It's right around 8 million per hour, and that is using top gear. But what I currently brought with me is uh, some pretty basic gear. I've got a hood of subjugation, uh, player-owned ports armor, uh, the talk um, cape, and uh, you know some basic stuff. This this stuff is not expensive to get. Uh, for the most part, um, pop is kind of a pain to get. So if you don't have sea singers, you know just wear whatever. Um, if you want the most money per hour, then you definitely want to wear the best gear. Uh, you don't really need anything in terms of high armor here. You just need stuff that does high DPS because you're mostly going to be healing with uh, your prayer. Um, something extremely helpful to bring here would be the demon horn necklace. I'd highly recommend bringing that because of the fact that uh, if you combo this with the bone pressure, these drop big bones which will heal up your prayer really fast and allow you to sit here and use soul split the entire time you're here. Using soul split is almost a must on these unless you're going to camp them uh, in like a, an area where they can't reach you. I wouldn't really recommend doing one of those areas because of the fact that it takes you longer to run out there to get the drops and then also there's not quite as many in that area. So. Um, in this one, I'm going to show you how to um, just stand here and uh, basically tank them all and collect all the money. Uh, using Torment is also great, so if you want to bring some extra prayer renewals, then uh, you'll be able to use Torment. Or if you're killing them fast enough with high enough DPS and also good prayer boosts, such as uh, Quivers or Armor that gives you prayer boosts, you can probably run both of these at the same time. Um, as far as boosting your uh, magic itself, um, you can use a Beckness Gold to save a bunch of money, or you can use whatever potions you have to do that with. Um, keep in mind uh, these commonly drop seeds, which is uh, one of the money making things you're going to get here. As you can see in my inventory, this is a full example of what you can expect to get from these. Uh, they drop lots of new seeds, lots of spirit seeds, and lots of spirit seeds. Uh, quite a few magic seeds and other high level seeds. They're worth quite a bit of money. As you see here, magic seeds are currently 90,000 gold apiece. Bias seeds are currently 43,000 apiece, and they drop uh, pretty much all the high level seeds, so you make a lot of money here. Um, other drops that uh, they, they give you that are notable right now are Ganodermic Flakes. Um, I'll show you the price of those uh, toward the end of the video, um, but they're quite a bit of money right now. And also you can expect to hit the rare drop table um, quite often, actually. And in, in my opinion, this is one of the highest rare drop table monsters in the entire game. Um, so basically, uh, you really just need to come down here and just start going, uh, going ham, killing them. Uh, turn on your soul split and start smacking them. If you don't have soul split, you can also use the Vampirism Aura, as I uh, have on here and you can use basically whatever uh, rings you want to use um, something that gives you like a, a benefit like a ring of vigor where you can use your ultimate pop it off and then continue using thresholds allow you to get faster kills um, something to definitely keep in mind here with the uh, getting kills in this area is that um, they do have a really slow uh, death animation as you'll see here in a second so don't wait for them to fully disappear to start hitting the next one and then check the drops on the ground. As you can see right there, I just got a Molten Glass drop. Uh, molten Glass is part of the rare drop table, and there's 53 of them from just that one kill. Um, and you'll notice right here, well, they will start to constantly infect you. It's not really poison damage, so don't bring something to stop poison. It's actually an, it's, it's, it's a new, it's, it's, it's a mechanic that's kind of uh, unique to these guys in the Polypore Dungeon, or just unique to things in the Polypore Dungeon in general, and that is the, uh, the their ability to infect you. Um, there's not really any point in bringing stuff, uh, using like the meme groups and everything. There's, that, honestly, that just wastes a bunch of time. All you gotta do is use uh, Soul Split or Vampirism Aura to heal over it. Um, as you can see here, I'm just standing right out in the open and I have no problem killing these. And I have no boosts. 
um, as far as like potions or anything on right now. All I have is Soul Split, and it's very, very, very easy to just tank over it. So if you have other stuff running, you'll very easily kill these. Um, so as far as bringing the familiar here, um, I would recommend you brought the uh, Ice Nihil. Oh, there you go. You see it. Um, Ice Nihil familiar, and what the Ice Nihil familiar is, is right here. Uh, it gives you a 5% accuracy boost to your magic, just like the smoke ones, but these will also reduce the opponent's accuracy and defense by 5%, allowing you to kill these much faster. Uh, don't bother bringing any familiars that don't use magic-based attacks. Um, the reason why is because if you use anything except for magic here, then the Ganodermic Beast has a cap on how much damage you can do uh, with the non-magic attack, so they will just simply sit there, laugh at you, and kill you. Um, you will not be able to heal over them with uh, your soul split and whatnot if you're not if you're not doing enough damage. Um, next thing to do here is you have the option to uh, make Ganondorf ponchos if you're able to. After collecting a whole bunch of uh, Ganondorf flakes, um, they just take 5,000 flakes and a mycelium poncho, which you can buy at the beginning of the dungeon. I would highly recommend because of the fact that right now, if you're using this guide for money with the release of invention, the cost of the mycelium ponchos are uh, up quite a bit more than they are if you buy them in the store. You can save about 200,000 gold or more per inventory buying these ponchos from the store. Um, so, back here, uh, now, now, you've, now you've basically seen how to kill these. Um, one, one more quick thing, um, as you can see I have escape right here. If, if you're fighting them and uh, um, they're getting a little close to you and you don't want to hit the infect like if you're a lower level player, which by the way this does take 95 slayer, so if you're a lower level player I don't even know how you have 95 slayer, but if you somehow do, um, just hit escape, and then you can jump way back, and then use asphyxiate or something like that to hold them in place and kill them off before they before they get to touch you. It's almost like camping behind something. Another quick thing for this is if you use the debilitate, debilitate does work to reduce the damage from infection to in half. So if you somehow stack a bunch of them on you at once, um, then you can just debilitate one and be able to uh, soul split over it. Um, and as far as like them piling on you, I re highly recommend you take off the chain abilities and stuff like that to hit more than one. Um, if you're a very high level, play level player that's bringing uh, top gear here, you can probably go ahead and leave the chain ability in, just in order to get faster kills. Definitely don't do that if you're uh, not bringing the, uh, quite a bit of stuff with you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to Grand Exchange and I'm going to show you what the stuff is selling for. Keep in mind with all money-making guides, prices are subject to change. Uh, no matter what, um, the Ganodermic Beasts always make pretty good money, so you're not going to not make money by going to them. But if you want to guarantee yourself some decent money, Make sure that you check uh, the current prices. A little bit of lag here in the coffee shop, but hey, we'll move, we'll move past it. So as you see right here, um, with the uh, Ganondorf boots that I sold, um, they went for 50000 a piece. The flakes went for not, almost 1000 a piece, and sometimes they will sell for $1,000. Um, the Ganondorf piece themselves drop uh, up, to, up to 270 flakes at once. So as you can see, you'll make a ton of money uh, off the flakes alone. That's actually the, the main money maker down there. Other thing too is the Ganondorf gloves are selling for nearly a hundred thousand a piece, and they're a fairly common drop. Um, and, uh, if you add all those drops along with the uh, rare drop table drops that you get, you are definitely going to be able to make the eight million per hour. Keep in mind that is assuming you have top gear, uh, so just uh, um, kind of tear it down off that if you're using uh, a little bit weaker gear. With uh, tier eighties and everything, you can definitely expect to get six million plus, um, and it really has to do with you just uh, s maintaining consistency and killing them quickly. As you can see right here, while I was talking, my Ganondorf Flakes did sell for 950 a piece, and my Ganondorf Gloves have already sold here for 95,000. Um, these, are, these are currently being used by Invention, so I don't expect these to tank too far too fast, so uh, jump on this method while it's still available. Uh, like always, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, always leave comments, um, let me know what you want to see, and I'll try to make those videos for you. Alright, thanks guys.